Okay. In this video, I'm going to solve another problem on simple strain. This is the problem. The horizontal rigid beam EBCD is supported by vertical bars BE, this one BE, and CF, and is loaded by vertical forces P1 equal to 400 kilonewtons and P2 equal to 360 kilonewtons acting at points A and D respectively. Okay. As we can see from this figure, bars BE and CF are made of steel given a modulus of elasticity and have cross-sectional areas of 11,100 for AB and 9,280 for, uh, for BE and 9,280 for CF. The distances between various points on the bars are shown in the figure, like 1.5, 1.5 meters, 2.1 meters. Length of um, bars BE is, the length of bar B is 3, while for CF is 2.4 meters. <clears throat> Determine the vertical displacements YA and YD of points A and D, respectively. Okay. So, to analyze, remember that P1 is downward, P2 is downward. So, when these two forces will be applied, what will happen is the bars B, E, and C, F will be compressed. No? So, this will be compressed due to the downward forces. So, the force of CF and BE is compression. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's cut bar BE and CF. And then we can determine the force of CF by summing up moment about B. Okay. So, <clears throat> so measure of moment about B. Okay, this is our FCF. So, let's sum up moment about B. The moment of FCF is counterclockwise, so positive. 400 is counterclockwise, while um, 360 is clockwise. So, FCF times distance plus 400 times distance minus 360 times distance, 3.6. And calculate, FCF is 464 kilonewtons compression. After this, we sum up force vertical. And again, the compression and BA, no? because of the downward forces. So, <clears throat> Calculate FBE is 296 kilonewtons compression. So from these values, we can compute for the shortening or the deformation of bars BE and CF using this formula, PL over EE. So for BE, the force is 296 Convert from kilonewtons to newtons, so times 1,000. The length of BE is 3 meters, 2.4 plus 0.6. Convert to millimeters, that's 3,000. The area is given 11,100. And steel months, so 200,000. <clears> 0.4. <throat> Millimeter shortening. Okay, compression man. For CF, uh, the force is 464 kilonewtons. The length is 2.4 meters. The area is 9,280. And then steel, so 200,000. The shortening is 0.6 millimeters. So after this, we can now determine the displacements of 
points A and D. So this is bar E, B, C, D. Okay. The shortening of BF is 0.4. No? And distance is 1.5, 1.5, and 2.1. So for BA, the shortening is 0.4. So since compression, eh, ma compress na, B will move downward by 0.4. And sa CF here, na shortening na 0.6. After this, i-connect na to. Connect na to ang bar E, B, C, D. Okay. This is Y, A. And this is Y sub D. Okay. So next is, how do we get Y sub A? Okay. If we will use Caltech, pwede ra. Direct, no? Mode 3, 2. Uh, linear model. Okay, our, our two sets of values are this one. X 1.5, Y negative 0.4. X equal to 3, Y negative 0.6. And from there, we can solve for Y with X equal to 0. And then solve for Y again with X equal to 5.1. Using Caltech. Pero manually... Okay, we do ratio and proportion. So what we will do is we will extend this one and then we extend this ABCD and locate the point of intersection para sa similar triangles. Okay, extend and then extend this one. This is the point of intersection. We determine this distance from A, X, and solve for x using ratio and proportion. This one, 0. 0.4 over 1.5 plus x equals 0. 0.6 over 3 plus x. And solving for x, x is equal to 1.5. And from here, we can solve for Ya, Ya, Y sub A over X equals 0.4 over 1.5 plus X. So Y sub A over X, 1.5 equals 0.4 over 1.5 plus 1.53. So our Y sub A is 0 0.2. And next Y sub D over 2.1 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5. Uh, 4.5, 6.6. This one. Y sub D over 6.6 equals 0.4 over 1.5 plus 1.53. Our Y sub D is 0.88 millimeters. So that's the answer for this problem. Thank you for watching.